So if you are not in a service position, buddy, you're in a provisioning position. What are you talking about service for? That's not your job. My man, a leader is a service in a service position. As a, a leader, leader is a provider and instructor, that's not a literally server. What service is. Serves or the leader. This is why when you go in a restaurant, managers usually are not the one busting down the tables. The managers are serving. instructing and guiding. They don't serve. That's not how service works. Yeah. Service goes from one person to another. It's listen not. To what it, I think. Listen deeper to what Cloud is trying to explain, you guys. I, I know you guys want to mm -hmm. get pushed back, but think think about what he's think about what he's saying. Go one surface left, low, yeah. lower. One surface lower than just I, the top. I, I am I'm though, not. but I think that the thing service is, is not two way. You, but you're comparing a man like the. I think the uh, the analogy is not connected because marriage is not the same. Right. Marriage no, it is the same. And that's the and that's wife, what I'm saying is the what problem. What the problem saying, today with marriage is people uh, let, let believe me, that me, a husband me, and me, wife are equal, let, but let they're not. A, a husband and wife are not equals, and therefore, no, you don't let me serve ask you a question, each though, other. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. Let, 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 me, uh, let me just finish. I was in the middle of the No, no, no. You interrupted him, Cloud. My bad. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, my bad. I was going to ask you a question. No, you're good. I was going to ask you a question. So, um, are you, when you're talking about God, are you talking about God in the Bible, right? You're talking about yeah. Adam and Eve, right? So if you go to the New Testament, there's this guy named Jesus, right? Who is God, who came to do what? To serve, not to be served. Matter of fact, he washed the disciples' feet to show what the characteristics of a servant leader is supposed to do, is supposed to be, Right? So if you so so yes, as a leader, you are supposed to serve not in the manner of which in the in, in the in the same regard, but mm -hmm. there's a need that my wife uh, has that I'm supposed to serve her with. If you're talking about provision, that's a part of service. Okay, if oh, I am I supposed think that's to be provide, um, misunderstood, because okay. you got to remember when Jesus did the washing of the feet, he did those with other men, right? So the thing is, the reason why that service was important is because the service was there to show that they were all equals as men. However, his wife is not his equal. So you're, you're not talking about Jesus washing. Jesus wasn't washing a woman's feet. Jesus was washing other men's feet. But notice when, when you see, notice that you see a woman washing Jesus's feet. And even when they were saying, yo, don't let her spend her money. All that stuff could go to the poor. Jesus was like, nah, let her, do what her, let her serve me. Let her do what she's doing. There's no example of Jesus serving, washing a woman's feet in the Bible. So, so people, people, you're comparing him doing something to show equality amongst his disciples and his brothers to be the same as the relationship between a husband and wife, and they're not the same. Men no, can be equal. Men people. can be equals, but men and women are not equals. No, so, so that's where we're no, complaining. No, we're complaining. No, a husband, a husband is made to serve. Like so, let, let's not get it conflated. I know what, what, what you're doing is arguing the semantics of it, but what we do, no, it, it, so just just hear me out. Just hear me out. We're a man is made to serve. Like that, it, it's what we do. Even though we lead, that's the service we provide, right? That's that's what we do. Like if we're providing, that's the service we provide for the woman we 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 cover. So a man's job is to serve. It's just God for our purpose, not yeah, a hold, woman. Hold, hold, on, Cloud, hold, hold on a second. So, like. We, if we compare what service looks like for a wife and what it looks like for a husband, there's going to be some unique differences because how it looks is very different. But at the core of this, it really is a service. Actually, man, but the I'll, reason I'll, why I'll, it looks just, different just one, just one last, one is because thing. it's not service. Hold on, just, just one last thing. Just one last thing. Since so we're talking about the Bible, the whole goal of Christianity is to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. I just want to make that clear. Also, no. uh, we can even go back to the. And I'm gonna make. It, I'm gonna address it in two from two points. We can even go back to what you said about the manager at a restaurant. While he may not specific, while he may not actually go out there and serve the customer, he in the service based business and he sends people out there to serve for him. But they are a representation of him, the manager. So he is True. still providing a service. It's just that he delegates the services to other people to provide, but he's still providing it because what happens if service isn't correct? Who are you going to go to at, at a restaurant? You're going to go All straight to the manager. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. And then also, also, um, now I'm not big. I don't, I don't really read the Bible that much. Um, but um, I'm sure that Jesus, while we may not have seen instances where Jesus washed women's feet, I'm sure he was of service to women as well. Where? 
I mean, I don't read the Bible, so I wouldn't know, but I'm sure there's plenty of people up here. Well, he went he the Jesus the was in service to God. You have Jesus the woman was in the service well. to his father. So so this this is all I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not saying a man is not supposed to serve. Yeah, I'm just I'm, saying what well, we're complaining. We we take well, it about the context. It, it, it makes me itch. We're taking it way out. So let, let me just say this: the whole basis of Christianity, we're, it's called the Bride of Christ. The whole thing is called the Bride of Christ, and we're the goal of this is to be married back to our Savior because we fell out of grace. His whole mission for God so loved the world that He you know gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe Him shouldn't perish but have everlasting life was to come, not to come to be served, but to serve. The whole message for Him was that He that is to be greatest must be the least, and he that humbled was Himself. Service. His service to humanity was to come and die and be the propitiation for our sins. The whole premise of his existence was so he could serve the will of the Father, that benefit. Exactly. So he the, hold on, hold on, listen. He served the Father. He provided service to the people, which is why we have union and fellowship with him again, because he came to serve. I, think, I understand I think, your I think perspective that, on that. I'm just, I'm, just saying that I'm, I'm just saying that if we're going to use the Bible, like we can't take snippets out of it to make our argument great we if we're going to use this it's it's a uh, it's something we got to speak in context so that it makes sense but the whole premise of husbands is to be a reflection of god and if we're going to be a reflection of god he served and we must as well especially in our marriages i understand your perspective all that but you said it yourself in 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 everything you were just saying now you said it yourself that jesus served the will of god the reason why he died on the cross was not because he was serving humanity he died on the cross because that's what his father instructed him to do, right? So, so we're conflating service to be this two-way street when it's not. Service goes linearly. God doesn't serve Jesus. Jesus serves God. Jesus doesn't serve us. We serve Jesus. Man doesn't serve woman. Woman serves man. And even the Bible will corroborate that. That's how the covering goes, from God to Christ. Christ to man, man is, to woman. Is so when you're so, so all I'm that's what covering I, that's what is get. not a service. Your covering is not a service. That's your position. All right. That's that's that is that is your right, purpose. So, so, so so for good. example, so so for example, if my purpose is to is to protect, that's not a service. That's what I do. So my wife is supposed so to serve quick, me. On that point, let on me that finish. Point, let me finish. Cloud. My wife is supposed to serve me. My wife is supposed to serve me in aiding me to do what that purpose is. So if my purpose is to protect, my wife is supposed to serve me in doing that job that what, I am what, doing in service to the Lord. What happens if your wife gets sick? How, you All right, now, now you're talking about taking care of your wife, which obviously, obviously you're going to show love and affection, but that's not what I'm talking about when I'm talking no, about no, service. The, 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 I'm no, talking, we're, talk, I, we're talking about marriage. All right, last piece on this, then we got to move on. Let me say something on this, man. What if you not are you, are you a Christian, Clark Jones? Yes. What do you say to a Christian? I mean, uh, a person that's not a Christian. You can't say nothing to him, right? What do you mean in terms of what? What do I say to him? How he should and how he how he should and uh, how his semantics be should be built around whether he serves or or gets served. I just don't see an example in the real world where service is two way. That's all I'm saying. Service is usually from one to another, then from one to another. Service isn't a reciprocal back and forth thing. And there's no examples of that in society where service goes two ways. When someone does a service for you, you paying them or instructing them to do that service, it's not a service. That, so, so it's not a two way thing. And you I'm just saying, saying so that. You, so you're honestly really, you're honestly sitting here saying that service is not a two way, two way street. No, I believe service goes in exchange for provision. It's not a two-way street. I, I provide it. something, and in turn, yeah. you you give me a service. 